The battle continues in the streets of Latin America to halt the flight of this mosquito, the main carrier of the Zika virus. Harmless to 80% of those infected, but to pregnant women, a risk of devastating birth defects. Across the globe, the end of a three-day meeting of the top minds involved in the push to stop Zika. The effort is massive. There are now 67 companies and institutes involved in research and development. 18 are trying to develop a vaccine, 8 are working on treatments, 31 are developing clinical tools for diagnosis, and 10 groups are searching for new techniques to stop the virus's spread. Despite this unprecedented effort, a vaccine may not be ready on time. This is something which is just starting. Everybody tried to accelerate. There will be a few months, no doubt, before we will be in any phase one clinical trials. Part of the challenge is trying to understand how long a person is actually infected. We know that the time that the virus stays in the blood is very short, but it stays lo a longer time in the sal saliva, urine, and even the semen. In the end, the ultimate protection could come from the rapid spread of the virus. Most people will have exposure to this infection and will likely not be able to get it again. In the meantime, the World Health Organization isn't taking any chances. Instead of advising caution to pregnant women planning to travel to outbreak areas, it's now urging them to not travel there at all. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.